Hello and welcome to CastNet's AM Update for Tuesday, June 2nd. Here are some of this morning's top stories. An RV was destroyed by a fire last night in Summerland. Firefighters responded to the blaze at 11.30 p.m. Monday night at the Landry Crescent RV Resort in the Trout Creek neighborhood. No one was injured in the fire, but RVs on both sides of the gutted unit suffered smoke and fire damage. Fortis BC is defending its advanced metering infrastructure project in the wake of calls to stop the installation of the smart meters. A petition circulated throughout the South Okanagan has been signed by 230 people asking the RDOS to decline approval of their installation until safety and human health risks have been disproven. Although well-intentioned, people in the Okanagan are attempting to rescue fawns they think are orphaned or injured when they're not. Conservation says it is becoming a real issue, but their message is clear. Do not touch the newborns. If you do, you can face a fine. And while this wasn't the year for the Rockets to claim the MasterCard Memorial Cup, their fans love them anyways. <laughs> Returning from Quebec City, the team was treated to a hero's welcome Monday afternoon at Prospera Place. Several dozen diehard fans waited for close to 45 minutes to show support for their team, which fell 2-1 in overtime to the Oshawa Generals in the championship game. Be sure to check out castnet.net for more on those stories and up-to-date news as it happens.